You know, we do talk a lot about the retail ice age on this program, but the mattress company, Casper, defying the trend. They are opening 200 bricks and mortar stores. They're going the other way. They started out online, now they're going to bricks and mortar after tremendous online sales. Look who's here. Young man by the name of Philip Krim, who is the CEO of Caspers. Welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. You know what I'm going to talk about first? What's that? <laughs> you know what it is. <laughs> it's that private area you've got where I could lie down on a mattress without being embarrassed. That's you, a big selling point. You could, and, and that's, it's amazing because it seems so obvious to give you a little privacy, take your time, lay on it, see how you like the mattress and not have a commission salesperson hovering over you trying to pressure you to spend a lot more money. And we just, we always try to start with what the consumer wants and work backwards. And so we thought about the ideal way to try a mattress, try sleep products, try a pillow. We just give you a little privacy, lay down, take as much time as you need, and uh, let us know if you have any questions. But why are you going in that direction? I mean, you did extremely well with the, with the online sales. I mean, I have millennials in my family, and they use you guys. So why did you then, you're not abandoning online, I got that. But why go so big into such a huge investment in 200 bricks and mortar stores? Yeah, in short, it's because it's what the customers wanted. And our online business continues to grow very, very quickly. But we learned when we first launched the business that there's still a large part of the population that want to lay on a mattress. They want to try it. They want to touch and feel it. It's a highly considered purchase. It impacts your life. You spend a third of your life on your mattress. Sure. And a lot of people want that additional way to experience the product. And so people were asking for us. They came to our first office, knocked on the door and tried it. And now we're expanding our retail footprint to give them that in more locations. Now, when you were online, it was just basically one mattress, wasn't it? One kind of mattress. Came in a box, you unfolded it, and you're, it's in your house. We started with one, expanded to three, so now we have a couple of options. And what are you going to do when you've got bricks and mortar? We'll have the mattresses there, including all of our other products. We have a great bedding line now of multiple kinds of sheets that help you sleep cool throughout the night. We have a great yeah. pillow that also helps you support your neck and your, your sh shoulders. Uh, so we are trying to be the world's first end-to-end -end sleep company to help you improve how you sleep every night. And you are a private company. We are. And you got a big piece of the action, you, Philip Krim. <laughs> uh, founders continue to own a big piece of the company. <laughs> okay, you don't have to explain <laughs> yourself. Lad. That's yeah. okay, don't worry. No, it's, it's and great. When are you going public? You know, we, we haven't set a time when we're going to go public. We have said we want to be public ready next year. Obviously, the markets are white hot. And we, yeah. we do have institutional capital as uh, part of our capital base. Uh, and now we're just trying to build the infrastructure so that when we decide we want to be a public company, we do it successfully. So when you decide you want to cash out, you will cash out. Is that true? No. Yes, thank you very much. Market, <laughs> just another milestone for us. Philip, it was great having you on the show, and we thank you very much. Thank you. Sir.